Welcome to ThorStream Media Player. In this tutorial, we'll demonstrate how to set up your ThorStream Media Player. We'll also give you a basic overview of how to use our own custom version of Kodi. Now, once you've connected the supplied HDMI cable to the back of the ThorStream Player to your TV and have powered up your ThorStream Media Player, you'll be greeted with this welcome screen. Click on Next and choose your language. For us, we'll be using English. The next screen after that will allow you to adjust the display size to fit your TV screen. Use, an, use the up and down arrows to adjust your screen size. The next screen is where you'll be able to select how you want to connect to your network. If you're using Ethernet, then put a check mark on Ethernet. If you're connecting via Wi-Fi, put a check mark on Wi-Fi. For this demonstration, we'll be connecting via Wi-Fi, so we'll place a check mark here. Now it will take a couple seconds for a list of available networks to appear. Find your network name and click OK on it. A virtual keyboard will then appear and this is where you'll enter in your alphanumeric password to your network. To double check your entry, you can put a check mark where it says show password. Then go down to connect now and press OK. Now go down and press finish. The next screen will be the Android home screen. Now, if you see the correct time and the Wi-Fi icon on the top of your Android home screen, that also verifies that you're connected online. Here's where you'll find our custom version of Kodi, where you can watch all of your entertainment. You can also come back to the Android home screen by pressing the home button on the remote at any time. Now, before we go inside our custom version of Kodi, I want to touch on some of the other features available on the Android home screen. Here, you'll find the internet browser where you can surf the internet, You'll find an app section where you can install Google Apps from the Google Play Store. There's our support group. There's also Thorstream Tools and OTA Updater. Now, from time to time, you may get an alert to update your firmware. What this means is that you need to run the OTA Update. Now, to run the OTA Update, click on OTA Updater and follow the prompts on the screen. This will update your firmware over the air to the latest version. Now, as you can see here, there is no available update because we're on the latest firmware version. Back on the Android home screen, you'll also see ThorStream tools. Here, we have a variety of maintenance tools that will come in handy if you ever have to do any troubleshooting. We will cover ThorStream tools and OTA updater in more detail on another tutorial. But I do want to touch base here on the speed test. We recommend that everyone become very familiar with the speed test as you may have to run it from time to time. We are now going to run a speed test to confirm that you're connected online and to also see what your internet download speed is. So what you want to do is, on the remote control, press the cursor button and the down arrow to display the on-screen cursor. You can also hide the cursor by pressing the cursor button once more. But with the cursor, navigate to the Begin Test button and press OK. This will run the speed test. Now, in the event that you don't see a Begin Test button, this means you may have network connectivity problems. In that case, you want to double check that you've entered in the correct password and also check your modem and router to make sure everything is working properly. Now, as you can see here, our download speed is 22.77 megabits per second. Now, all we're concerned here is with the download speed. The upload speed does not matter for streaming on the ThorStream Media Player. Now, with all things streaming, the faster the download speeds are, the better the streaming experience will be. So now that we've confirmed that we're connected to the internet, Let's go and launch Kodi. Now press the home button on the remote to go back to the Android home screen. Go highlight Kodi and press OK. This will launch Kodi and it will do its first run. Now once it loads, you'll be greeted with this screen. If you take a look at the bottom of the screen, you'll notice that there is an RSS news feed scrolling at the bottom of the screen. This news feed will have ThorStream news and also include information about mandatory updates, upcoming sporting events, and any other information that we want to share with our customer base. The RSS news feed is also another indicator that you're connected online. So if you don't see the news feed, then you're not online and should check your internet settings. You may also see on the bottom right of the screen, little pop-up messages that are indicating that there are updates still running in the background. Now click OK on the remote control as indicated on the screen. Then you should see the Thorstein Wizard. 
In the event you do not see the Dorsey Wizard, press the return button on the remote control, then go back in. Now highlight the Dorsey Wizard. Press OK and follow the on-screen prompts. It's going to ask you if you want to install the update. Say yes. Then it's going to ask you if you want to install adult add-ons. You can say yes or no. Now the Thorstein Wizard is running. It's going to run for the next few minutes. So we're going to pause the video while it's doing its thing and then come back to you guys. Welcome back. Once the wizard is done running, you'll see this message. Press the OK button and Cody will close and relaunch. Also, if Cody does ever get stuck, you can also hard close Cody and relaunch it by pressing the red Cody button on the remote control twice. This is your Thorstream main screen. You can always return here by pressing the search button on your remote control that has an icon which looks to be like a magnifying glass. Now let me give you a quick overview of our customized version of Kodi. On this Thorstream main screen, you'll find a variety of content separated by category. Trending will have the most popular add-ons. Now keep in mind this list will change from time to time as we replace them with more popular add-ons. There's also a submenu which highlights popular content at this moment. Now moving to the right, we'll find the movies category. This is where you'll find recent movies, old movies, and fresh new movies that are still in the theaters. You can also search for a movie in each add-on, and each add-on will have its own search functionality. Now if you take a look here, we're gonna find a bunch of movies here. Some are new, some are still in theaters, and what's cool is that if you find a movie you want to watch but want to watch the trailer, just highlight the movie, press menu, and you'll see an option here to watch the trailer, and you can even add it to your favorites for watching later on. Now you go to the right, you're going to find the sports section. This is where you'll find all your live sporting events. Next is the update screen. As you can see here, you'll see a date tag on the wizard, which indicates the latest version of the wizard. Now, if you haven't run an update since this date, we recommend that you run the wizard to have everything up to date. The next category will be newly added. These are the newest add-ons that are being tested. Next is system. This is where you can clear cache and purge packages to keep your unit running efficiently. We highly recommend you do this each time after you run the wizard. Now going to add-ons, click on add-ons, and this will, this will display a complete list of add-ons. Now scrolling through the list, you're going to find add-ons from all different categories. Next category is international. Here you have international content. Rio de Bray is a third-party service and is not affiliated with Thorstream. It is completely optional and not required. They do offer extremely stable links in 1080p, 4K, and 5.1 surround sound. Next is your fitness music, kids, and live TV section. This is the premium section that gives you access to unlimited quality HD streams at no additional cost. This premium content includes live TV and live sports, which include football, basketball, baseball, boxing, MMA, racing, as well as international sports like cricket, rugby, and soccer. Now let me give you a quick snapshot of some of the live sporting events that are available. This list will change daily. Now let's go over TV shows. Here, you can find episodes of all your favorite TV shows. As you can see here, you're going to find TV shows from all the networks as well as cable. So let's say you find a TV show you like. You click on the episode, I mean click on the seasons, and then you're going to see all the current episodes, even of the current season. And these episodes will be available pretty much right after the air on the TV. Now let's say you um, want to add your TV show to a list so you don't have to keep searching for your shows. If you want to do that, all you have to do is highlight the show you like, press menu, and add to favorites. Now to access your favorites, press the star button on your remote control where it says bookmarks. Then you'll see a list of favorites that will be displayed. Please register your ThorStream warranty within 30 days of purchase at ThorStream.com. To utilize our 24-7 real-time customer support, please download Boxer. Boxer is a free app that you can download on any smartphone. 
Once Boxer is installed, search for username Thorstream and send us a message to be added to the Thorstream support chat. If you have any questions or comments, please contact us. Please visit and like us on our Facebook page. This concludes the tutorial. Thank you for choosing Thorstream Media Player.